Hello, this is Mike again from Scratch, and welcome to an abridged Godot with Blender tutorial. Uh, basically, I screwed up in my last tutorial, so I've created this one. Uh, I said in the last, if you watched the last tutorial about uh, Clada export uh, with uh, Godot, I said that uh, Actions isn't working, so you can't mu export multiple animations. So I showed you how to cut uh, an animation sequence up into multiple pieces. Apparently, I was patently wrong. So um, nicely, people pointed out in the comments, and I've gone and checked, and I. I missed a checkbox setting here, and that's kind of one of the pain in the ass things about working with uh, file exporters. This one little setting can make everything go very, very wrong. Uh, so now I'm going to quickly show you how to actually create an animation sequence with separate actions in Blender that will in fact work with Godot. So uh, fire up Blender, and I have it right there. It's freshly downloaded. Now the one thing that you're going to need here, you can't use the built-in Collada exporter. You have to use um, the better Collada uh, Python plugin. And it is available on GitHub, if you can read that. It's a... Nah, I'm not even going to read that to you. Uh, but basically, just Google for uh, GitHub... Git, let's see, GitHub Godot Engine Better Collada. And it brought me here. Or you can go to the uh, 3D wiki page, and there's a link to it. Uh, it's called a Python script there. Uh, but what you want is this whole folder. And this goes in your uh, Blender directory. Um, the location of this directory can change depending on what platform you're on and how you installed it. But in my case, this is just a straight download install. As you can see, it's in my downloads folder, like everything else in my life. Um, and then you go into your version number here. You go into scripts, add-ons. And you want to copy the contents of these. So basically, grab this guy, bring it into the add-on folder, and get this directory. So create this directory and these two scripts inside of it. And make sure that they're made in here. So if I go down... Uh, let's see, what is this guy actually called? Uh... IO scene DAE. Oops, wrong thing. Uh, IO scene DAE. So you want to make sure that this folder is created. Now, a bit of a trick, um, unfortunately, and this is mind bogglingly stupid in my opinion, but github.com does not have an easy download this folder option yet. And this one's really simple because there's only actually like three files that you need, and you need to create that directory and match the the tense exactly. So you can recreate this, no problem. Just basically go on in, and then for each file, grab the raw version, save as, and take it to that folder. Uh, but if you have SVN installed, you can actually do this from the command line. So let me show you. Uh, there, let's go SVN temp, CD, SVN, CD, oh, SNV temp. That makes even less sense now, but that's good enough. So if you have SVN installed, you can actually do it as SVN and then clone, and then you can take any directory, so we actually want the parent directory right here, any directory in uh, a GitHub repository, and go SVN clone, and then the, the URL. But instead of tree master, you just take and turn tree master into instead trunk. So it's your normal URL, the normal name, the normal project name. Instead of tree master, it's trunk, and then the path you want. And then just press enter. And then you find out that you don't have SVN installed. But if you do have SVN installed, and I don't know why that didn't pull, so apparently my path isn't configured right, uh, that will uh, download all those files to that directory, whatever folder you're in at the time. Um, I'm not sure why SVN isn't working. Did I typo it again? SVN. Hmm. Um, neither here nor there. You can do it either way, but if you do have SVN installed, that is a quick way to pull down a folder or a hierarchy of folders from a GitHub repository. So, end of fast tip gone, get that guy down, uh, install it, and once it's copied in, you'll know if it worked right or not, if you've copied it in right or not, if you go into load up Blender and go into user preferences, like so, go over to add-ons, and then uh, import, and you can filter down here and go Collada, and you want import, export, better Collada exporter, and just click yes. This will now enable that plugin, and you probably want to do a save user settings so that the next time you load up Blender, that'll be there as well. Now we're going to go with the exact same simple animation we had a second ago. Um, I'll just recreate it very, very quickly without explanation. So then, over into edit mode, uh, switch over to faces. So we're just going to take the stock cube and, again, just extrude it out so we have a bit of a manipulable shape. Grab everything, and we'll subdivide it a couple times. So there's a lot of control points that we can work with. I'm not going to bother texturing it or anything this time. Uh, so now that we have that created, we're going to just go ahead and add our armature again. So let's put our pivot point no. right there. All right, hey, come on. All right.
Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and add our armature again. Oh, sorry, let me move the mic. Armature, single bone. Uh, rotate X90. Rotate X180. All right. Press Z so we can see inside. Tab to edit mode. And again, just extrude our bones. Like so hopefully we're centered. Um, that's done. All right, not quite perfect. Back to edit mode, and we'll just go straightish. All right, good enough for me. Uh, so there's our control structure for inside. Tab out, cover mesh, grab our armature, control P for parenting, automatic weights. So there, we're at the point we were at last time, we now have a manipulable 3D object created. So now what we're going to do instead, here's the big difference. We're now going to be able to create named animations. And T to get rid of that. So let me just split this window out. We'll bring up something called Dope Sheet. And that is in here. And Dope Sheet. Okay. And Dope Sheet actually has four sub windows inside of it, or five. Uh, and we want Action Editor. And now what we can do is create named animations inside of our, um, our blend file here. So we should be good. We'll set a default pose of everything. So just grab, uh, let's see, grab your bones, go into pose mode, grab all of them, press I, and set a master key. So we now, something's showing up here. We can see that we have one keyframe there. Uh, we're at, uh, I'd rather have done that. Okay, let me just go back over here, press A, delete them all. All right, let's go back to, let's go to keyframe zero instead. I'll insert, okay, so at, at zero on our timeline, or tw why am I on 23? Okay, undo, go to zero, let's try this one more time, create our keyframe, there. So we have now a keyframe at zero, and we're going to start from there. So what we want to do is go ahead and create two different animations for this. We're going to do, again, bend up, bend forward. Uh, so in the, uh, let's see, action editor selected, right here, we have our two actions defined, so this one we will rename bend up. This one we will name bend forward like so. Uh, you can add new ones using the plus. Uh, you can see uh, beyond what we're going to talk about here anyway. So now we have got these two actions that we can define. So bend up we're going to do first. And all we'll do is over time say at the, we're going to make this animation a total of 50, not 100 because we don't have to do it twice. So about the 25 point we'll just go ahead and grab the second guy and rotate it rotate it, capture them all, I, again, you can actually set just a rotate key if you want, but I'm of the habit of doing them all, and then again, we'll go to the last key, grab it, rotate a little bit more, rotate a little bit more, I, snap them all again, so there you see, we've got, ah, shoot, all right, then I will go back to zero, and we'll undo what I forgot to do, uh, I don't know why it wasn't done, I must have undid it by accident, so we'll go zero, pose, clear transforms, all, and we will set a key for it as well. So you see, first key, nothing in it. Second key has our first bend, our second bend. So we just created a new action called bend up. So now we'll switch over to bend forward. With bend forward, there is just that initial key, nothing else. See? Not a very exciting animation. So now what we're going to do is change that guy uh, around the 25. So this is bend forward. So let's just move our perspective this way a little bit. Uh, we'll grab this guy, and we'll rotate it around the z-axis, like so. Rotate this guy. Oops. Rotate z, like so. Grab them all. Mark. And let's move to 50. Again, rotate. Rotate. Grab them all. I. Done. So now we have the two named actions bend forward. If we go ahead and play it, you will see it does this. And then if we switch to bend up, it does that. So we have two sequences that we could we could blend them, we could do whatever we want with them, but we have two named animations that overlap over the same series of frames. And you could create as many as you want. You can animate a hell of a lot more than just the rotation like we're doing right here, but that is the basic premise. Now's the part where I screwed up before. Let's let's stop this playing, even though it doesn't really matter. So now what we do is we want to export it. And if your export was done right, if you plug, if you did the plug-in settings right, you'll see export, and now Better Collada will show up on the export list. And this is what you want to go ahead and export. Just pick it. I'm going to pick a location. We'll call this Better Box 
ironic name, two. Uh, and then here's where I messed up. And you want to come down here, and you can say, I want to export empty object, cameras, lamps, etc. We'll leave all of that standard. But what we have to make sure we do, and I did this for the first time, is click export animations for sure, but also all, all actions. And that's what I didn't do. So make sure all actions is selected, and you're good to go. So we just created betterbox2.dae. I'll just go ahead and export that guy, like that. Now let's fire up Godot. Again, out of my trusty downloads folder. A new copy of Godot. We'll load up last time, damn it. And, all right, so empty scene. None of this really matters. What we're going to go now is same process we did in the last tutorials. We're going to go ahead and create a 3D scene. Uh, there's actually nothing else to do. We literally just have to navigate to it. And desktop and better box too, like so. Give it a home, like so. And dot. That's it. So import and there. It's brought in. Uh, remember, I didn't texture it, so it's just a box. Like so, but here it is brought in. Now the big difference here though is we don't have to split up that animation anymore. Instead, I can come in here to the animation player and now you see, there's this play setting which is what will automatically play and the default is stop. But now if you look, ta-da, we now have our two animations in here. So our bend forward and bend up. So uh, let me apologize straight out. Uh, that was just a pure mistake on my side. You can do named um, actions in blender as the process i just showed you uh, if by the way if you want to see more coverage on how to actually do that stuff from the blender side let me know uh, i can do something a little bit more in depth or a little bit more useful than that quickie demo i just did uh, but as you saw you can create uh named um, animations inside of blender and export them to godot totally a mistake on my behalf but you have to make sure you use that better collada exporter and you set use animations and export actions if those two values are not set it will not work but you can you do not have to cut up the animations like i showed earlier uh you can do it this way simple enough so sorry about that bit of a mistake hopefully this added some clarity uh, of course you can also do your animation as one long sequence and cut it up if you wish um, you can still create sub animations the way we did earlier so there is some value in knowing what we did in the last tutorial but if you want to create all your animations in your dcc which is probably how you should do it um, that's exactly the process you can do use the better collada exporter and they will in fact work so thank you for that see you later